The drum rotates counterclockwise. The belt and the beam act as a brake for the drum. And I want to know how big my P needs to be right here so that I can exert a braking torque of 400 inch-pounds on my drum, where the coefficient of kinetic friction for the belt slipping on the drum is 0 0.2. First thing I do is draw my free body diagrams. So I've got it A, I've got AY and AX because that's the pin. I have the tension at B and the tension at C, both up at 60 degree angles. And I have P down at that point. I also have a free body diagram for the drum itself. I have another pin at O, so I have OX and OY. And I have the same equal and opposite TB and TC coming off at the 60 degrees to the horizontal. I know, by the way, that this has got to be perpendicular to the radius because the belt always comes off tangent to the circle. I am also going to have the applied moment from the friction. That's going to be in that direction. So if you write your equations of equilibrium, AX minus TB cosine 60 plus TC cosine 60 equals zero. AY plus TB sine 60 plus TC sine 60 equals P. And if I take the sum of the moments at A, I have TB sine 60 acting at 2 feet, TC sine 60 acting at 6 feet, and P acting at 8 feet in the opposite direction. Now my units over here are going to be foot pounds. When I take the sum of the moments about my wheel over here, I have TC times 4 inches minus TB times 4 inches and minus m equals zero. These are in units of inch pounds, but that's okay. As long as I'm consistent with it, we'll be all set. My m is this 400 inch pounds that I'm looking to get. So if I simplify that a little bit just for ease, I can say TC minus TB is 100. Now is when I have to actually apply the friction stuff that I've worked through. T1 equals TB and T2 equals TC for my formulas where I'm going to have TC over TB is going to be e to the mu times beta. I know that because TC is going to be bigger than TB. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the right equilibrium here. So setting mu equal to 0 0.2 and beta is, this is 120 degrees by geometry. So beta is 240 degrees, which is 4 thirds pi radians. Remember, you have to use this in radians. That gives me TC over TB is 2.31118. I can plug that into my equation for equilibrium for the wheel to get TC 2.31118 TB minus TB is 100. So TB is 76.267 pounds. Substituting again, TC is 176.27. Now I can come up here to my sum of the moments at A and solve for P. P is 131.00 pounds. And then answer the question. Apply P is 131 pounds at D to break the drum with 400 inch-pounds of torque.